<laughs> what up? It's Goldberg for Mornings, 99.9 The Point, and we are live once again. Thank you for checking this out here on our Facebook page. Uh, don't forget, we still have a YouTube channel. We have great content that's over there, and we post a lot of these videos there as well if you want to recap them and you don't have to search through our timeline. Uh, but also we have our interviews with Charlie Puth, interviews with uh, Haley Reinhardt. We play some games, Would You Rather. We play some games around here at the station as well. Uh, but you can go check that out. But uh, thank you so much for... I had a flyby when it comes to a little hair. But thank you so much for, uh, for, for checking us out here on our Facebook page. So a few things I wanted to talk about today. Uh, and this conversation may get a little not safe for work. I'm just throwing it out there now. NSFW or uh, put the, head, the earbuds in, lower the volume a little bit. But we're going to be talking about beer. And a certain beer that may be um, – it blows my mind that this is even a product. I'm just throwing it out there because this is a big beer community here in northern Colorado and Fort Collins and, and even Greeley where they have like Wild Works, which is like named the number one craft beer uh, craft brew in, in America, which is pretty cool. But it, this this blows my mind, and I got to find the article where I found this. Yes. Now, they've made beer out of several different things. I mean, there's like a chocolate cereal beer. There's... You know, jalapeno beer. And I'm not the beer connoisseur that, that some people are. Like Matt, uh, Matt Sparks, who does Middays here on 99.9 The Point. Huge beer connoisseur. Like like Black Friday, he goes out and buys beer. He doesn't buy Christmas presents for people. He buys beer. So I'm just kind of wondering, like, there's, there's a huge variety and a huge beer culture, obviously. And they've tried so many different things to make the perfect beer using different kind of enzymes and different kinds of bacterias and different kinds of, of barleys and, and, and stuff like that to add flavor. But there's this one place in Warsaw, Poland, that has started the Indiegogo page to support the brewing of the first beer that is brewed, not safe for work, just throwing that out there again, first beer that is brewed using the bacteria from, well, from a woman's crime scene, <laughs> from a woman's Woohoo! Uh, I, I, I'm. Yeah. First off, who would come up with this idea to brew, uh, brew a beer using a woman's lady parts? And we're going to use the bacteria from the inside of uh, of a woman, and we're going to brew beer. Now, this Indiegogo page has already found their first volunteer to supply them with bacteria, and I'm going to show you on my computer. The um, I'm going to flip this. Actually, I'll just do it this way. Can you see her? That is the woman. She's a she's a model. She's a Czech model who has provided her source to be a part of this beer. And I, the whole thing blows my mind that this would happen. Now the thing. Now if you do. If you do partake in this Indiegogo page, you can actually use your loved one's bacteria. You can actually use your, your girlfriend or wife's. Why is this a thing? I have no idea. This blows my mind that this would even be a thing. So anyways, their financial goal is, and this is euros, is 150,000 euros. Oh, I don't know what that is in American dollars. So far, they got 24 days left, and they've raised 214 euros. So I don't think this is going to be a huge success. The, the product is actually called, what's it called? It's called Yoni. Yoni beer. It is a sour, it's a sour beer made from the uh, lactic acids produced in, um, in the crime scene of a woman. I call it a crime. I'm a child. I'm a child when it comes to that. Like I, it's it's it's. I don't call it what it is. What it, whatever. And these are two things that I actually really enjoy. Both the 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 lady parts of a woman and beer. But I don't want them combined. I don't. I don't. Just doesn't seem. This doesn't 
doesn't seem like it would be something I would want to that I would enjoy. Now I do, and it'd be it's a sour beer, and I do enjoy sour beers, but I don't like sour beers when they're by themselves. Have you ever had a sour before? Uh, they're great with like a steak, or they're great with like actually like a meal. But if you're drinking sour beer by itself, you can't really drink an entire pint, an entire glass. It, it, it doesn't go down very easily. But you can sound off. You can leave comments below. Is this something you would even want to try? Would it, it's one of those things. Is like, oh, I'll throw money towards it. But is this one of those things where? Because I'm a foodie. I've tried so many different kinds of foods. I've tried. I, I I'm one of those people where I believe in trying something at least once. Just try something once, and then you're good. But this, I don't even think I want to try this once. Would you be interested in trying this beer called Yoni that is brewed using the bacteria of a woman's inside parts? What kind of idiot actually comes up with this idea, too? It's got 12 backers already. This Indiegogo page has only been up for seven days. I think it's just starting to get promotion going out there. It's got 10 backers. It's done in Warsaw, Poland. You can do different levels of sponsorship leading from all the way of just being, you know, I don't know, getting like a keychain or something <laughs> to all the way to being able to get like a case of this stuff. Stuff. That's my thought. That's why I, I, that's why I don't really think it's very safe for work. Um, anyways, another thing I was I wanted to talk about, and I'm gonna be talking about this on the air in about four minutes, <clears throat> is is it okay to say we when you're pregnant? Now, my wife and I have had two children, and when she was pregnant with our child with our children, I would always say we're pregnant. And my wife would always look at me, especially after she's like probably in her second trimester when the hormones start really kicking in. And she's like, what do you mean we? And I'm like, sorry, honey. Because I think because I think this is an experience that we are doing together, even though, yes, biologically, I'm not the one carrying the child. I still think it's something that we are, are, are experiencing together. And the reason I'm bringing this up is. My favorite celebrity couple, which a lot of people's favorite celebrity couple, Chrissy Teigen and John Legend, they are having their first child together. And I guess John Legend got a lot of heat from people on social media and in the media in general for saying that we are pregnant. And a lot of people just were like, ugh, no, you, she's pregnant. You're just there for the ride, which I don't know. I, I just... I mean, I gained a lot of sympathy weight. I just used it as an excuse to, to put on some pounds. But a lot of people were ripping John Legend uh, with his tweet when he was saying our pregnancy. And he was using the, the togetherness of his announcements. And yeah, I understand people who were, who, were, who were mad at John Legend for saying we. I understand where they're coming from and their attitude about it. Because, yes, we are not pregnant. But th it's, it's a thing that's happening together. And I'm going to talk about this on the air here right now, so it's going to get a slightly repetitive. Um, but I'm, I'm just throwing it out there because you know, if you're if you're a couple, you're doing it together. And I'd love your comments down below. Like, how would you feel? Like, if you are married, or if you had a child, if you're with child, are you okay with your significant other saying that we are pregnant instead of it's like? Because you can you say we're having a baby? Because you are. We are having a baby. It takes two. It does. Make a thing go right. It makes two to get it out of sight. Sorry, Rob Mason, DJ Easy Rock. One of the best songs of all time. Just throwing it out there. It needs to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It takes two. <laughs> but I just. Uh... My wife yelled at me so many times about that when I when we were pregnant. See, I said it again. When she when she was carrying our child. See, is that a more better way to say it? My wife is with our child. No, that that, that sounds weird. It sounds like I'm speaking old English, like I'm going to challenge somebody to a joust or something. <laughs> My wife is with our child. She is carrying my seed, my spawn. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> I 
Today's hits without the rap. It's 99.9 The Point. It's Goldberg and the most music in the mornings. Online on our website, 99.9thepoint.com, and broadcasting live on our Facebook timeline right now. So if you want to check out our live behind the scenes video where we have some other conversations and talk about some other things, you can uh, join us for our live video chat right now on our Facebook timeline. Thank you so much for waking up with us. Right now, I'm actually talking about this with uh, my viewers or my followers on our Facebook feed. And I want to know how you felt about, felt about this. My wife and I have had two children. And when she was pregnant, I would always say we. I would. We're having a baby. We're pregnant. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because my wife would always give me this stern look every time I would say that. I'm like, hey, we're having a baby. She looks at me like, uh-uh. I'm having a baby, you just provided the seed. And I'm like, whoa, settle down there. And the reason I'm throwing this out there is because John Legend, who is my favorite celebrity, especially with his wife, Chrissy Teigen, my favorite celebrity couple, he went on social media whenever they announced that they were having a baby, and he said, we are pregnant. We're having a baby. Our pregnancy. And a lot of people, and Chrissy didn't say anything bad, say, say anything, his wife didn't, but a lot of other people were saying, huh, you're not having a baby. Your wife is having a baby. And I'm just kind of wondering, how do you feel about that? Is it appropriate for a husband to say, we are having a baby? You can sound off at 888-666-1999. Is it okay for the husband to be involved with that? Because obviously he was involved at some point in the uh, in the conception. Just throwing it out there because I look at it, it says, you know, we have babies together. We're pregnant together. We, we love our children together. We are, we raise our children together. Biologically, yes, it's not completely accurate that women, you know, guys do not have the baby. I understand that. But if you are married and you are a couple, it is definitely something that can be a we situation. Just throwing it out there. Not that I'm trying to take anything away from what a woman does, because there's no way in hell I'm doing that. Uh-uh. I've seen what happened to my wife's body twice. No, 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 no. I'm never doing that. <laughs> if there's any, um, if there's ever a medical miracle that allows men to have babies, I'm not going to do it. Just right now. <laughs> you can sound off 888 or log on to our Facebook feed. Right now, it's Zane and Pillow Talk of the Point. Ooh, let's take a live phone call on the air on, on wow this could be this could be dangerous live phone call oh boy let's see how this goes hey the point what's up yeah it's gone comment about the pregnancy yes are you okay with a man saying we are pregnant Okay, because every time I would say, and I think it had a lot to do with my wife being in her third trimester and the hormones starting to really kick in, but every time I said that we were pregnant, ooh, I got I got a look from her, and I was like, I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, probably the hormones, but yeah, I think from uh, most people's standpoint, I think it's cute. Okay. <laughs> Well, I was just wondering because, like I said, John Legend uh, and Chrissy Teigen, they're having their first child, and he's very excited about it. If you follow yeah. him on social media, you know he's crazy excited about it. And he was saying we're pregnant, our pregnancy, and a lot of people, including like regular media sites, were actually getting really angry with him about that. And I was yeah. like, he's an excited dad, and he's going to be great father. Why, yeah. why, why be mad at him about such a thing? I so think they're adorable. They're the cutest couple ever. I know. I love them. What? Exactly. Okay, I'm glad because, you know, my wife now, I haven't talked to her about this story, so maybe she's changed her story now that she's not currently pregnant. Um, and she always, so yeah, so we'll, we'll see what she says. But thank you yeah, so much for calling. Mind, no. Yeah. <laughs> have a good day. Great. Have a great day. Bye. Bye bye. So yeah, there we go. Woo. Could and could have been a lot worse. Somebody could yell at me. No, I'm scared. Could have been my wife saying, like, how dare you bring me up like that? Right. But, yeah, so, I mean, I, I'm wondering how you guys feel about the story as well. Uh, is John Legend okay for saying we? Because I think it's totally fine, but I'm a guy. I'm not the woman who gives birth and goes through pregnancy and goes through morning sickness and cravings. Weird, weird cravings. I'm not, I'm, I, I, I don't know. I'm the guy. You know, to be honest, we've got it easy. We do. Women have it incredibly hard. So... I'm just wondering, is that, is that men appropriating what women are doing? You know, it's like they're appropriating our pregnancy. You know, that's our thing. Women can't, men can't take take control of that. They're taking ownership of us being pregnant. I don't know. You sound off in the comments below. 
Or you can, uh, like, if we get this up on the YouTube channel, you can comment below as well, there as well. But thank you so much for checking us out. I'm going to uh, get back to this stuff. Uh, try to keep these videos relatively brief if I can. But thanks so much for checking it out. Once again, I'm Goldberg from The Morning Show on 99.9 The Point. We'd love to see your comments below because then I will continue to comment throughout the day as you leave comments on this video about not only the, uh, the, the we, pre we Are Pregnant comment, but also what do you think about that beer? Just throwing out there, is that something you at least want to try, or is it is it intriguing? Would you like to see a brewery here in northern Colorado give it a shot? I, I don't know. Anyways, thanks a lot. Once again, I'm Goldberg from The Morning Show with 99.9 .9 The Point. I'll check you guys out later.